The topic of my talk today is uh, from gray to green, construction material of the 21st century. Uh, civil engineering doesn't seem to be a very uh, sexy topic or a topic that kind of seems to be attractive. However, it's really the reality of every day. It's one of those fields in our life that we take as granted. Like you take the fact that the roof over your head will not fall like we're sitting here today, or the floor under your feet will crack, will not crack. It's a science of building our society. And surprisingly enough, it's not a science that has been changed much over the past 4,000 years. Since the dawn of, of civilization, cementitious um, material were used to construct the symbol of the society in the ancient world, Babylon, Persia, Rome, Greek. Egypt. Till today, more than 4,000 years later, we are building a world of the same material, the same cementitious binder, the same material. However, while our ancestors were using natural rock, such as marble, we are using far less durable material to build our cities. While we still admire those structures that stand there for thousands of years, uh, advanced cutting edge material technology lasts perhaps 50 or 100 years at the most. So what does that mean for us? We currently have over 9 billion cubic yards of concrete somewhere around the country. The replacement cost of that material that's going to last only 50 to 75 years is one trillion dollars. In order to become to be a more sustained society, in order to be able to prevent, build a world for our children that they can live in, not only rebuild every century, we have to develop a new type of material, materials that last hundreds of years not only hands of years. So what are geopolymer binder? Geopolymer binder are an emerging or a new class of cementitious material. That means it's like a glue, um, something that keep the rock and the sand all together, uh, that can be manufactured from industrial byproduct. That means we pretty much manufacture it from waste or something that other people throw away. Uh, such as fly ash, which is produced from burning uh, coal. When we're producing electrical power, it can be produced from rice ash, it can be produced from slag, a byproduct of making steel. It can be produced from clay, simply all that clay soil that we have all around us. It can be used as 100% replacement for Portland cement. It is as strong or even sometimes stronger than the concrete on which you are sitting. It has elevated resistance to chemical attack. It can perform a temperature of thousands of Fahrenheit. It's also a very green material, representing 90% energy reduction in comparison to the production of Portland cement. Have a very low carbon footprint, only less than a quarter CO2 emission compared to the product, construction product we're using today. And finally, it has significantly enhanced other environmental benefits such as uh, saving landfill space, where is where we do put a waste product if we don't go use it for geopolitics. <coughs> so let's put it in global perspective. I don't know how many of you realize that concrete is actually the most, second most used process material in the world, only after water. Every year, we're casting, we're casting 20 billion tons of concrete. That means three tons for every person on the face of the earth. The production of Portland cement, which is the binder to this concrete, will account for about 3.6 billion tons of CO2. It's equal to 
7% of the total man-made carbon dioxide emission. It's also equal to pretty much removing every vehicle of the world of North America. In contrast, geopolymer binding technology offers 100% green replacement for Portland cement. And 85% reduction in carbon footprint, or more 90% reduction in energy consumption. So what you can do with this material? Well, we can do that material, whatever we're doing right now, with that bag of cotton cement that you might purchase at Lowe's last weekend to put a new uh, fan post in your backyard. We can make beautiful from it bridges. We can build from it uh, home. Sidewalk, road, pavement, parking space. Whatever you use potent cement for, geopolymer can be used for the very same purpose. The only difference is that those structures will be much greener, required much, much lower uh, energy consumption, they're going to have a much lower carbon footprint, and perhaps. Just as importantly, they're going to be for not only only our children, but our grandchildren and our grand grandchildren. We estimate service life of geopolymer binder to be at least 250 years. In some cases, much more. So what we're doing here at Louisiana Tech, Louisiana Tech, we have a very uh, extensive multidisciplinary research program in which we are working at the atomistic level, uh, microstructure level, large scale specimen, as well as uh, full scale testing to develop ge geopolymer products which are commercially ready. And we are working in collaboration with private industries as well as multiple government agencies. Some of the pilot projects that we did to date include uh, casting test pad at uh, E2, E1, C3, which is an active test site at NASA testing facility at Stennis, which is in southern Mississippi. The, the uh, test was conducted last Thursday, and the geopolymer binder was the only material in that that participated in that test that actually looked better after the test than before the test. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we also cast test pad at different industrial facilities uh, in a region such, that, such as that uh, particular pork and pepper mill in southern Arkansas. That project was done by, not by PhD students, but by construction crew, so that material is, can be used by anybody pretty much for every application. Uh, one fairly cool project we're working on, we call it uh, Luna Polymer which is actually those samples are geopolymerized moon soil. And uh, we are, did talk with Dr. Rich Cordell about the potential of actually licensing that to some extraterrestrial uh, potential climate. <laughs> so we do have the potential to Tech for extraterrestrial construction materials. <laughs> you never know where science takes you. To wrap up, our society needs more durable construction material to reduce the cost and the environmental impact of building and maintaining our urban society. Geopolymer is a new class of those, such class of cementitious binder that combine both the ease of use and the low cost of potent cement together with the durability of those ancient construction materials. Our goal is to play a major role in the development of this technology during this coming year, contributing to a greener planet and a more sustainable society. Thank you very much. <laughs>